most of the democracies, new and old in the world, do tend to have two chambers, two different houses. In Britain, we've always thought it was useful, if only just to make the government think again. We have two different chambers because we think that there is merit in having checks and balances within our political system. In other words, we don't believe in vesting all power in one chamber to make the decisions with no opportunity for anybody else within the political system to check, to restrain, to argue for reconsideration or delay or amendment. The House of Lords doesn't seek to amend or block financial legislation, that is the exclusive preserve of the elected House of Commons, the House of Lords is not elected, but on pretty well all other matters, the House of Lords is free to express its views, to make its recommendations, to revise, to amend, to urge pause for thought. And I think on the whole, though there are arguments about whether the composition of the Lords and its current powers are right, there is widespread support in Britain for having a second chamber of one form or another. Parliament makes laws. It consists of two chambers, the House of Commons, which are elected members of Parliament who represent their constituents, and the House of Lords, which is a revising chamber. And all the laws that go to the House of Commons and are looked at by members of Parliament then come to the House of Lords where they are scrutinised in tremendous detail and the idea is that laws can be refined uh, and looked at to see that they don't duplicate other laws, they don't contradict other laws, they don't infringe individual liberties. So the House of Lords plays a very, very valuable role in revising legislation. Now, people may ask, well, why should the House of Lords exist? Why should you have a chamber with any power at all if it's not elected? And that's a perfectly good question, but there's also, I think, quite a good answer, uh, that you need in any parliament to get the best results for the country as a whole, uh, the, the proper balance between democratic accountability, but also uh, a large number of parliamentarians who are not primarily constrained by the political party they belong to, but are able, because of their background, having been successful uh, in business, in industry, in the arts, in law, or politics, or whatever, are able to make a personal contribution. And as long as the elected chamber has the last word, even if it's only after a year or so, uh, then I, uh, we feel that that balance is being properly maintained.